What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the Dundee FC reboot of career mode here on EAFC 24. Um, I'm sure if you saw the last episode, there are uh, spoilers. If you haven't, go see it. But we got fired from Dundee FC, and now we're rebooting the series because uh, I didn't make the necessary changes that a manager should. And this, I decided to uh, reboot it. Um, if you want to know the reasoning, go back and watch the, the last uh, episode if you've already seen it. We're going to go forward here today. And uh, we're going to start our season. First five games will be in this video of the season, so hopefully we can get some results. Let's see how we get on with our new manager here on Dundee FC, Colin Ferguson. Two things I just want to show you before we go into um, the games here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to drop the half length to three minutes. I usually play on four minutes, but I do think that four minutes is too long when you play against Legend Legendary and even Ultimate as well. So I've dropped it to three minutes just so I don't have to, you know, ha have that extra two minutes of defending because, you know, you, you give the Legendary uh, AI chances to score. They, they tend to score on one opportunity. So... That'll hopefully make things more competitive. I have done some test games in exhibition, and they were a lot more, and they were a lot more um, competitive. So I think that'll be a good thing that we can start off with. So I've also changed um, the handball mechanic to just be freeze. Um, so it's on, but no penalties. I think if you were able to do it in a way that. Um, Maybe, you know, you could have it on sometimes, like the clearly obvious ones, like, you know, the hand is out and up in the air or something and it hits off the hand, then yeah, sure. But that's not a setting and there was way too many penalties in the um in the last career mode. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna change that as well to on except penalties. We also have a double feature here today, uh, two episodes. For EAFC as to celebrate my one year anniversary here on YouTube. So check back later today to uh, to go and see that episode. Right, first game up here today is Kilmarnock away. And this is a side I would be interested in going out and attacking. So we're going to try and go for the 4-3-3. Uh, three, three, try and play in the counter-attack. And see what we can get on. Three in that midfield is very, very important. But let's see how we get on. Let's hope we can get on uh, okay. And maybe get a result. I'd take, um, a, I'd, I'd take a point here today. Kumarna oh, come down this left hand side. Murray occurs there. Probably it, and there it is. Kilmarnock take the lead. Unfortunate, really. We've done pretty well, but in the end, Kilmarnock get their strike and get their goal. Now it's up to us to come back and counter and see if we can get one back. That's going to be two. McGuinness is there. Strike and keeper should save that, but no. Kilmarnock go 2 0 up, and it doesn't look much different for us here. But unfortunately, this could just be a loss that I don't know if we necessarily deserve, but we certainly haven't going, haven't done well going forward. So, but Kilmarnock had two chances, and two of them went in the net. Do think it in. Easy layback, and this could be three, and that's really just that boggles me. They get three chances, they score, and that's really you just have to prevent them from getting chances. But we did really well in the first half, and now they've pretty much given us, you know, 20 minutes of you know incisive play and be able to cut us open and score three goals. Doesn't look like anything has changed all that much. One minute left. We've almost there. Late challenge there by Bakioko. Doesn't matter. Kilmarnock will run out 3-0 winners. Really poor first half, but Kilmarnock did start to break us down a little bit more in the second half. And they were able to get three goals on three chances. 
And if we're losing 3 0 still against teams like Kilmarnock, we're going to struggle against the big teams. Kilmarnock would be one of the you know, weaker sides here in terms of uh, overall and stars in the Scottish Premier League. So if we're still losing 3 0 to them, you know, there's a. Uh, you know, it's going to be another long season ahead of us, even on, the, on this reboot. Very next game, things don't get any easier as we have to face Rangers. Now, we are at home, but I still think we're going to have to play a defensive type of game. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, try and eke out a draw against Rangers. Maybe get them on the counter-attack. But uh, we're going to do our best, see what we can do. It's going to be a tough game. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Rangers coming forward here now. They're going to be dangerous. We know they are. We're shocking to see us come across there. Done really well. And uh, we've actually done great to get that out. Maybe we can go on the counter-attack here. Anderson. French there on his right. He's not really trying to fly down that right-hand side here. French, but he's done well there. Cut it back. Mulligan. Who cut inside. Still has a chance to retain possession Mulligan. And does. Anderson. Cameron. Comes in off that left hand side. It does. Uh, he does get a strike away. But not enough to trouble the goalkeeper. No. His French has done well to get back. But Yilmaz has got some really good pace. And he's got through one. It's done well there, but the deflection comes back. And Rangers take the lead, and really unlucky. Good save by Trevor Carson, to be fair, but uh, just not able to keep out the second attempt. And Rangers take the lead. The way we go, and that wasn't the ball that we were looking for. And now Rangers could hit us on the counter if we can just be a little bit disciplined here. Portal is still there. A little one, two there. And another lovely ball in. And it's two. And that's a really incisive counter-attack. To be honest, I don't think we've played poorly today. It's just Rangers have been better. And now it's uh, I think it's over and done with. 2-0 uh, for Rangers. And we still haven't scored, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Rangers have been better today. And they deserve this victory. Three would be harsh and three they'll get. We just fell apart. We just fell apart. And they've gotten three and... Not quite sure about that one. We just, we just weren't able to do anything. Okay, now it's going to be four. I know it's going to be four. It is going to be four. I doesn't... They just come on the counter-attack and that's it. They don't deserve four goals. I suppose if you, you, I suppose you can say, you know, we are, yeah. This is gonna be five. No, Carson saves it and then dives in the ball. So, not quite the the results we got when we played in them as Ross County, but not much better. That's that is five. Wow. All right. Guess things aren't going to change. 5 0, and that'll be it. That's just a, a really bad start. A conceded, none scored. And uh, we continue. The struggle. Next up, Aberdeen. Another team I wouldn't expect us to really get a result out of, but uh, we'll see how we get on. We've struggled in our first few games, and I don't think this is going to be any different, but we'll take a good stab at it again. Oof! There was a strike from Duke. I'm not quite sure if Carson saved that or if it just rattled off the the side, it did it. He hit off the side netting. It was, uh, he didn't get it on target, but that was our first chance, and it's off target. So we get a bit of luck in that one. Uh, 
They've got numbers in the middle, Aberdeen, and it's one. And it could be four or five now. Uh, Rangers did the same around half an hour into the game. They broke us down. And as I said, it could be a lot more now. There's two from outside the box. Shouldn't happen, but it does. Miofsky, 2-0 off Aberdeen. This is going the exact same way as the Rangers game did. We went 1-0 down at, uh, at half, uh, after a half an hour. And then right after the break, they scored their first. So, hopefully it won't up, end up with the same results. But, uh, Vicky Cameron. Stand off and want to run into the box. Gets to Bakayoko. He gets a strike, and there's one. First goal of the season for Bakayoko, and it's a well taken one, to be fair. We are back in this game. Do we try and get that draw? I would honestly, if we lost 3 uh, 3 1, trying to go for the draw, I would take it. Maybe a slight deflection there. It was a slight deflection off the defender's foot to bring it into the net, but Bakayoko will claim it. And that's 2-1. So now we're going to have to really, really try and go forward with... Uh, see if we can get the leveler. On this side again. Beck can't come back. But Duke pulls it back. Good save by Carson. It's always going to be difficult there for... Miofsky, but they're going to come back right again and this time it's raw it's wide so maybe with 50 minutes to go can you just make something to maybe get that goal down this right hand side again and Beck hasn't done really well anytime they have gone down to beat again there honestly Mulligan was doing better on that Left hand side, he was bailed out though. Now it's really now or never for our team as Tiffany runs down this right and our left hand side. Or whether he can deliver the right ball is the right one, and really there was no ball available for him to deliver. It looks like we're going to be. Probably going to be it. Ball through, and it is 3 0 or 3 1. Aberdeen will indeed um, get the victory, and that will be it. Three one Aberdeen win, and uh, the season isn't getting off to any an easier start. Next up, Hearts away. We actually haven't had many home games. The only home game I believe we've had is against Rangers, which, of course, we got hammered by, but, you know, this, that is Rangers. But we face Hearts here today. Um, tough game. Um, it is away from home. But let's see what we can do here today. We seem to be in behind us already, Hearts. And it's not good enough by Carson. He needs to save that, and he doesn't. And we go down pretty much immediately here. 1-0 to get Hart within the first five minutes. Good save by Carson. He just found a way to get a shot away there, Hart. But Carson was able to at least get rid of that one. Save by Carson. Coming up to half time. Oda with another chance. Can't put it in the net. Now Hearts come forward here again, and it looks like they might just get us. No, Portales comes in, breaks it up. But can't get it away, and Hearts make it two, 55 minutes in. I don't think it matters now. Another loss. Four games in, four losses. 
This is a difficult challenge. And uh, a tough one at that. Good ball there by Boateng. And Bo Bakayoko actually got a really good strike there. Made the keeper work. And that's really all you want him to do. He does save. It goes out for a corner here. Ball into Mulligan at the front post. I don't know if that's actually a really good ball. Bakayoko's not able to get it there. That's a great strike! And with 30 minutes left to go, we've got an opportunity. Not quite sure who that is. Burn, maybe? I think it was Burn. Great technique on the volley. Sakioko wins the header. It's McGee on the edge of the box. Great technique, as I said. And we're back in this. Yoko! Oh, what a chance! And it's just off target. We almost got it. The leveler within the last five minutes of the game. Maybe that was our chance to get the first point of the season. I've actually dealt fairly well with hearts in this second period just trying to do our best to continue indeed we have but looks like we're not going to get an opportunity and we don't we had our opportunity back yoko couldn't steer it in but we went for it in the final few moments and in truth that was a competitive game they did do better than us in the first half but we gave them a game in the second and going forward we might be able to get a result against the teams that aren't the, the Hearts and the Aberdeens and the Rangers. Uh, but certainly positive po signs for our next match. And, and it will be our final match of the video. So hopefully before we end our today's video, we can put some points on the board. Last game of the video here today. St. Johnston at home. A game I would be hoping that we can get a result out of. Though they've actually got off to a pretty decent start. to uh, win in two draws in their first four games. But this is a game I would want to go out and attack. Hopefully we can we can get a result here. Dundee FC at home. This is the one I've been looking forward to. Pretty much the team that got me fired in the last uh, the last uh, timeout. Let's hope we can get a result here. Good save, Carson. Got their chance within the first five minutes, though. It was always going to be a difficult one from there. But they get it from the corner. And St. Johnston take the lead within the first. Just after five minutes. So now we need to fight back. Nice ball to McCowan. Probably not where you'd want it though. Let's come back outside to, to get it. McGee. Tiffany. Back to McGee. Already got one this this campaign and there's the second one McGee gets us back on level terms just past 20 minutes it's first strike blocked second strike right in the net McGee could be someone we could uh, get some goals out of this year and we're back on level terms now we just need to make sure we stay tight another corner last time they McConnor had long ball, put it in, but this time they're going to play it short. Strike, save, good save too by Carson. And St. Johnson have another corner. They win it again, but over the crossbar. A half an hour just gone. Lovely ball by McCowan there to Kerr. And if Kerr can pick someone out, this is going to be a decent ball. Tiffany hits that back into the box and McCowan can't do it. But Tiffany, good save for the keeper. We're coming forward here, doing well on the counter-attack. Another goal 
There definitely is another goal in this game. Ball goes in. Tiffany! This time he makes no mistake. 42 minutes. Just about to happen. And Tiffany gets our second goal in this game to give us the lead. Good save by Carson. And it seems that there was an offside. I thought that was the chance for St. Johnston. But Carson did well to close down that opportunity. We still have the lead here. The play. But Shocknessy is able to come away. And now McCown has it. If we can break here. That might be it. That's a good ball. Bakayoko got to get there. He does. 50-50 ball. Takes a little bit of a, too much of a touch. And that's a glorious chance that we haven't taken. And maybe could have put this game away. And we could very much be punished. Oh, it's all over the place. Bakio goes up, doesn't win it, and free has been given, and it's been given to us. I believe it was a handball due to Bakio goes battling. That was a great chance for them again, St. Johnston, and they've. That could have been it, but we were able to find a way to keep them the ball out of the nest. Putting us under extreme pressure now. There's so many players. Player came across there. This could be it. It's not. Carson gets the save. And he's after brought that out of bounds. And a yellow card here. We go back to Jeff Cott and a tackle that he had a, a while back on. I think it was Shocknessy. No, they've actually said it was a corner out before he had a chance. It was in. The goalkeeper's up there, and we're just going to kick that clear, and that's going to be enough. We will get our first win of the season coming back after going a goal down. Good, very, very good. Resilience and determination on the side as we get our first win of the season. Colin Ferguson delighted. We've had, we have shown improvement after those first two games. And today we were able to come away with the three points. I believe this was in the same position we were last year after five games, three points. But let's hope we can kick on from here as we get our first three points of the season. Dundee FC win 2-1 here at home. Uh, the result I'm very happy to see. And that's it. First five games down, three points taken. Still at the bottom of the table, but only because we've conceded 14 goals. Double anybody else has in the entire league. Not surprising, though we did leave in five and against Rangers, three against um, Kilmarnock and Aberdeen, and Hearts as well. No, Hearts was 2-1, I think. It's Hearts 2-1. Where is it? Yeah, Harris was 2-1, so that actually wasn't too bad. So if you actually take out those first two games and make them, like, reasonable defeats, especially against Rangers, yeah, it's not too bad. We're not doing too badly. The best thing about it, four goals. We're not the worst uh, team going forward this year. Uh, Livingston are. They've only, got, they've only had three uh, so far. In our next video, we'll face off against St. Mirren. Now, the thing I've actually been doing a lot of as well um, is I've been doing a lot of scouting to make sure... During the trans January transfer window, we will have players uh, to bring in. I'm going to make sure that we have plenty of options. So I'm going to make uh, a lot of scouting reports to be done. And uh, I'll make sure to get on. So we're not going to have that same issue again. This time Dundee, we're here to stay. And we're going to bring them to the top of the Scottish Premier League and beat the, um, the Monopoly in, the, in Scottish football. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed here today. And if you did, please like and subscribe more content. Not just this one. There's also other uh, parts of my channel. If you haven't checked them out, please do. And um, I, I really, really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. And peace out. Have a very good day.